A renewable energy can be divided in two big and very different uh, uh, categories. The first one are what we call uh, renewable flow resources, such as, uh, for example, solar or wind, geothermal energy. And their characteristics is that whatever we use of uh, these resources, they typically are not depletable. So we are not going to influence the capacity of these resources to regenerate themselves with our usage. Rather, the problems is the intermittence. So this kind of resources often, in many cases, the, the problem is not much uh, the capacity, the availability of the resource and the capacity of uh, uh, of uh, of use of usage of the resources, but the fact that these resources is not uh, available uh, at any moment in times with a uh, constant or even uh, with a uh, predictable uh, uh, amounts. And uh, so we have the problem with these resources on one side of an uh, intermittent uh, stochastic process of production of this energy and the other one with uh, uh, a demand of energy that instead uh, it is, uh, if not constant, but uh, uh, it needs to, uh, to be matched at any moment in time. And uh, there are various solutions to these problems. Here uh, I put two big categories. I would like to say uh, there is another one uh, that is uh, usage of other sources. Use of other compatible sources of energy. Sources. Okay, so the first one is the direct capacity of uh, storing the energy somewhere and uh, you may think that this somewhere could be a bactery, a lithium bactery, there is very, there's a lot of uh, buzz about uh, that maintenance. However, this can be a solution only for very short moments to match capacity and support and uh, to match supply and demand on an uh, electric grid that can be and is used and are used uh, uh, lithium batteries but this the capacity of lithium battery is still very limited and they are very expensive so what is really currently the main uh, way to store uh, energy a uh, supply that is in excess from the supply of uh, uh, intermittent uh, renewable resource is to use uh, uh, the opposite, I would say, of uh, hydroelectric energy. So normally you have water resources and uh, through a turbine you produce some energy. When you have uh, already too much energy in the system because uh, you have, uh, uh, it, it's starting to happen so that you have more uh, production of, uh, of energy for a, for renewable resources than what you are needed in that moment in times, you can use a pump, for example, to store back in the, your water in the, in the water resource that you can later use. Second uh, way to, uh, to face the problem of uh, intermittence of uh, renewable flow resources is through the smart grids. Well, smart grids is a concept that is a word that is not much smart in the sense that uh, it is not too much well defined, but the two characteristics that a smart grid sh should have is on one side to move from the typical uh, uh, scheme of one large power plant that distribute energy to the various users to a system where this become more uh, two ways so energy can be produced decentralized by any uh, uh, user of the network and they can share each other without passing for a centralized power plant. But the second concept, and in this case, the most interesting one for the problem of intermittence is that the smart grid should be able to connect between each other to a larger geographical scale. 
in a significant way. And uh, this would, would uh, allow the grid itself, the electricity grid, to uh, decrease uh, its variance because uh, you are, uh, if there is a lo local uh, production uh, um, variance in the production of, of um, electricity by a renewable, this could be compensate by larger production in other areas. So increasing the size of the of the grids decrease its overall uh, uh, variance. The first way you you we may think is to use other together with uh, with uh, with uh, these uh, intermittent uh, sources other sources uh, that uh, doesn't have this problem one is uh, the hydroelectric energy and the other big uh, renewable resources that is used and that is uh, compatible with with this scheme is uh, bio biomasses and because biomasses can uh, be uh, used very quickly to increase uh, the the load of uh, to produce uh, electricity and uh, in particular in France uh, in France we have one problem and the problem is that okay we can use other resources uh, uh, renewable but we can also use other uh, at least temporary some uh, fossil fuels uh, uh, resources and typically what is used to and they go very well with uh, with uh, with uh, this larger and larger amount of renewable uh, uh, ele electricity uh, uh, produced uh, the electricity resources is is gas turbines gas turbines are uh, they have the characteristic that like for biomasses can be switched on and off and regulated very quickly and the problem in France is instead that something that doesn't work very well with this scheme is nuclear. Because to change uh, the, uh, the production, the supply of uh, electricity from nuclear plants, you need uh, to wait a lot. It is not done uh, uh, instantaneously. And so nuclear resources doesn't go very well with, uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, renewables. And uh, uh, one uh, uh, one example of renewable that is doing very well is uh, uh, solar uh, photovoltaic, and in many uh, in many cases it's already reached. Uh, sorry, I covered the, the 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 things here with with my writing. So it's already reached the grid parity in many countries. What does it mean? It means that the electricity that is generated through uh, solar photovoltaic modules is produced at an average cost that is uh, uh, comparable with the cost uh, of electricity produced by fossil fuels uh, uh, sources, typically gas or coal. Coal is the cheapest. So what we are, uh, and why is that? This is why, because the, the price of photovoltaic modules across time decreased uh, uh, very strongly and uh, uh, and this hollow to reach the in many cases the the in some cases I would not say may, still many but in some cases the grid parity with uh, with fossil fuels and uh, this is reflected by an uh, exponential increase you can see in this chart both the capacity and uh, the annual addiction of the capacity of photovoltaic uh, uh, photovoltaic uh, solar panels and uh, still even so the photovoltaic is the king in terms of uh, increase of uh, within the the among the renewables still if we see how energy how renewable energy is currently produced the larger and larger amount in many countries is not uh, photovoltaic, is not uh, uh, wind uh, uh, turbines, but they remain uh, uh, hydroelectric uh, uh, sources. The other large category of uh, uh, renewable resources are those that we call uh, renewable stock resources because uh, their capacity to regenerate themselves 
depend from the amount of the resource themselves. We can have uh, typically living organisms uh, that represent the resources of this uh, kind, look like fish, cattle or forest, and they all have a natural capacity of uh, growing, of regenerating themselves, that depend from the stock of the resource itself. Sometimes we can have also inanimate system like uh, we can think about uh, water and atmospheric systems but the, the capacity to reproduce uh, depend by physical uh, uh, processes or chemical process but still uh, depends on the amount of uh, in this case pollutants that is present over the resource in the resource and after a certain uh, level the, the system is not the, the resource is no longer uh, uh, present or at least no longer suitable for uh, for human usage and the if uh, the usage of this resource interferes with the reproductive capacity of uh, uh, this kind of renewable resources. Uh, for example, if uh, the uh, uh, harvesting rate uh, uh, is excessive and continue uh, uh, for too long, the resource can uh, uh, become uh, uh, finally exhausted. And uh, the problem is that uh, uh, Often uh, do private property rights doesn't exist for uh, many kind of these uh, uh, renewable resources and this uh, lead to a problem that is known in the literature as uh, the tragedy of the commons because uh, the resource is uh, subject to open access and tend to be over, uh, over exploited to a level of exploitation that are higher than what uh, efficiency conditions would uh, would imply and uh, commons are uh, uh, the goods that uh, like for the public goods we are an, are not excludable we cannot exclude people from uh, from benefit from these uh, goods but at the opposite of public goods they express highly rivals so if i'm benefiting of this good if i'm fishing a fish this fish is no longer available for someone else so i'm going to going fast on this matrix uh, because you surely had uh, somewhere else but the 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 problem of many uh, renewable stock resources are that uh, they constitute uh, some commons and uh, exhibit and hence exhibit this uh, this problem of uh, of uh, tragedy of the commons